Okay, so for this one, we have a to the fourth plus five times a to the fourth plus six. So it's a binomial times a binomial. That should ring a bell that we're using FOIL here. FOIL, first, inside, outside, last. So let's give it a shot here. So first means the first terms in the binomials. So a to the fourth and a to the fourth. That's our F. Okay, so F, O, I, L, more review with FOIL. Okay, so here we go. a to the fourth times a to the fourth. a to the fourth times a to the fourth. All right, outside. Here's the outside, O. Okay, so this is the fourth, by the way. Okay, outside, okay, a to the fourth times six. It's a plus, so I'm gonna write that as six a to the fourth. There we go, okay, how about the inside? There we go, those two make up the inside. So five a to the fourth for the inside, plus five a to the fourth, and then last, these two. Last, five times six, plus five times six. Okay, and this is a fourth. Okay. Um, remember here, we add exponents when we're multiplying the same base here. So it's a and a for the base. So this is a to the four plus four, which is a to the eighth. So we have a to the eighth plus, all right, six plus five is 11, a to the fourth. All right, plus five times six, 30. There we go. Foiled and ready to go. Let's try another one. Here we have two binomials multiplied again, x to the fifth plus five and x squared minus eight. All right, let's hit it with foil. First outside, inside, last. Okay, no problem here. So let's see. The first, x to the fifth, x squared. x to the fifth times x squared. Okay, outside. Here we go. And here I'm going to bring the minus in with it. Right, so this is minus 8 times x to the fifth. Okay, so minus 8 x to the fifth. All right, inside. These are the inside terms, so 5x squared goes next. 5x squared. And then our last terms, 5 and negative 8. So plus 5 times negative 8. First, outside, inside, last. Okay, well, same base means we add exponents, so this is actually x to the 5 plus 2, which is 7. We have minus 8x to the 5th plus 5x squared. Those are not like terms, so we can't combine them in any way. They just kind of have to hang out here. There you go. Plus 5x squared minus 40. All right, and make sure we can't combine any more like terms. We can't. So there's our final answer for that one. Let's try another one. Okay, here we have a foil, but we have this 2 hanging around the front as a uh, kind of a factor that we need to multiply through. The best way to do this is really just to wait until the end. So let's go ahead and foil this together, and then we will multiply through by this 2 at the end of the problem. Okay, so let's do that. So this 2 is just hanging out, and then we'll foil this here. So first, outside, inside, last. First is 2x times x, so 2x squared. Outside, minus 9x. Inside, 11 times 2 is 22, and there's a minus, so minus 22x. Last, 11 times 9, or make that a negative 11 times negative 9, is positive 99. There we go. Let's clean it up a little bit. 2 times 2x squared, we're combining like terms. So I'm thinking minus 31x plus 99. And now I'll distribute this 2 through to all these terms, right, using our distributive property. 
Okay, so that comes to 4x squared minus 62x plus 99 uh, times 2 would be 198. There we go. Final answer.